Good morning, Irving High School. Today is Monday, December 6, 2010. This is Karen Bautista. Why are we starting so early, Karen? It's not time to start yet. Well, Jared, we are on Stripe schedule today, but we will not be going to Stripes. We will be on extended second period, so we can talk about project adoption. Yay. Ooh. Oh, Karen, please inform us how KRV is raising money for project adoption. Sure, Jared. KR KRV will be taking pictures of students and putting their pictures up on KRV, and then it will be on silent announcements. The prices are $2 for one person, $5 for three, and a dollar after every extra person. Isn't that such a great deal? Yes, it is, Karen. And we are, we are going to use the money for a good cause. We sure are. Karen, have you taken your SATs? Yeah, I actually have. Have you? No, I'm going to take it in the spring. Well, math SAT prep is today in Ms. Garena's room. You should go. I'll be sure to be there. And last Friday, our DECA chapter participated in the mock DECA competition at Northwood University. Mr. Moore and Mrs. Kanan would like to congratulate all students who participated in the competition and congratulations to Natalie, Natalie Classic, Kim Ventura, Bree Chapman, and Sheree Mosley for placing in the top 10 of the role play event. Woo! Attention senior and all others wanting to buy a recognition ad for the 2011 yearbook. The deadline <laughs> has been extended to this Friday, December 10th. If you want to have your own page in the yearbook, see Mr. Zeski in room 203 or talk to one of his yearbook students, payment plans are available. Do you like to dance, to shake it? Toy Tiger tryouts are this week. If you're interested in trying out applications and copy of your report card are due to Mrs. Wright. Please come by the dance room to get a packet and turn in your paperwork. Tryouts start today. These are the student spotlights of the day. Jesus Mora, what a great soccer player with a big heart, always helping out the attendance office. Way to go, Jesus. And Horace Arkadai. He was helping put up the star on the Christmas tree in the front of the school. And there are nine more days till project adoption. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we have nine days left until project, or we have nine days left of the canned food drive. I hear those mice stirring. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I actually do. Well, this concludes our news for today. Stay tuned for the sports, for sport news with Jesse and Bree. Stay tuned for the video of an Irving High student that saved a life. Step one, you say we need to talk. He walks, you say sit down. This is Karen Bautista interviewing Abel with us. Hello, Abel. How are you doing today? I'm good. Are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. So we heard that you saved somebody's life. How did you do this? I did a Hamlet maneuver. A Hamlet, yeah, that. How did you do it? Well, I got my own stomach and I'm glad I did it. Really? How did you learn? Well, mom has a restaurant and that's just a posters. That's what I learned it from. So you learned it from posters. Had you ever done it on somebody else before? No. So this was your first time doing it on somebody? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Did the guy thank you afterwards? Yes, he did. Oh, that's good. How did you feel after you saved somebody's life? I felt proud and strong. That's awesome. Well, do you think you can demonstrate what you did? Yes. All right. Step one, you say we need to talk. He walks, you say sit down, it's just talk. Smile so thank you, life. Abel, for your time, and congratulations on saving somebody's life. And do what's right and save a life. Good morning, Tiger Sports fans. I'm Jesse. And I'm Bree. To start off this Monday, we have results from wrestling. On Friday, they defeated Nimitz 48-32. to And in the tournament at Colleyville Heritage, Varsity placed third and JV finished first. Here are Varsity individual results. Tino Cazares, third place. Kirk Currington, fourth place. Francisco Salvatore, second place. Troy Melton, fourth place. Marshall Burns, first place. 
Edgardo Orozco, first place. Anthony Benemite, second place. And for JV, Carlos Amaya, first place. Jordan Martin, second place. Marte Hunter, third place. Kevin Hernandez, third place. Damian Jackson, third place. Woo! Chris Allender, third place. Giovanni Hernandez, third place. Antonio Valdez, third place. Jackson Salinas, fourth place. Keep up the good work, guys. And on Wednesday, they have a match at Richardson Bern Berkner. The Irving High boys swim team placed sixth out of 23 teams this weekend at the IISD Winter Invitational. They beat Haltom, Nimitz, and Mac in several schools out of our district. Captain Jake Morrison earned a sixth place ribbon in the 200 IM and a seventh place ribbon in the 200 free. Our boys' 200 free relay consisting of T Travis Murphy, Osmond Musa, Will Goodall, and Jake Morrison earned eighth place ribbons. The freshman black basketball team finished third place in the Irving ISD freshman tournament over the weekend. The Tigers defeated Trinity Addison 54 to 43 and Denton Geyer 52 to 48. Now break, late breaking news. The JV boys basketball team took second place in Irving ISD JV basketball team. We beat Ep Epispicle School of Dallas and Fort Worth Pascal to earn a spot in the championship game against Dallas Jesuit. In the first games against ESOD, every Tiger except one scored. It was a great team effort on Friday night. Then Saturday morning, the Tigers played their best game of the season by defeating Fort Worth Pascal by 10 points. The Tigers were led in scoring by Kevin Booz, RJ Willis, Michael Coley, but it was a defense effort by the whole team who helped the Tigers to victory. Reed Malone, Edgardo Bastillo, Seth Sinsel, Aaron Bailey, Grant Bowman, and Edward Hardman, and Rami Hamid all played a part in the Tigers' second place finish. We start district on Tuesday at home against Grapevine. Come out and support our Irving Tigers. And for varsity. They won the Constellation Championship of the Mansfield Spring Creek Classic. They beat Crowley 72 to 67 and were led by J.J. Thompson, who had 31 points and was selected to the all-tournament team. Also helping the Tigers to victory was Keith Frazier with 25 points, Nick Webb with 6 points, Andrew Latson 4 points, Cameron Simmons 4 points, and Michael Vaughn 2 points. The Tigers went 3-1 in this tournament with victories over Crowley, Flowermount, and Kyleen Shoemaker. They open up district play tomorrow against Grapevine, so come out and support the Tigers. All of our guys and girls basketball teams play here tomorrow against Grapevine. Freshman boys start at 6.30, freshman girls start at 8, JV boys and girls at 5, varsity girls at 6.30, and varsity boys at 8. Come out and support all of our Tiger basketball teams. Well, that's about it for today. I'm Jesse, and that's what it is. And I'm Bree, and it don't get much better than that.